All right, let's go over how to draw red from the movie The Sea Beast on Netflix, all right? It's just gonna be the head view from the side, okay? It's like an angle that we see of him a lot. So it's gonna be simple, step-by-step, step, easy, okay, for beginners. Very, very short as well. Should be like seven minutes, if not shorter. Let's get started, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw like Mainly, mainly just kind of the tip of that snout. It's really gonna be just like a little bit of a dot. Pull down. Curve underneath here for kind of his upper lip pulling in. Pull back, up, smile. Not really smile, but his, his mouth is gonna kind of pull back in there. More of a kind of a serious thing. I don't know why he said smile. Dot here for the nose. Down over here. And I'm gonna pull up over here for the top of the brow, right here in the eye area, right? Cool, cool. So far, so far. I'm gonna go in to underneath that brow and I'm gonna pull a line over here, up, curve and curve underneath here, kind of the eye, okay? He has these slightly slit pupils, which is uh, amusing, because uh, animals that big are not supposed to have pupils, uh, slit pupils like that. Curve around here, curve around here, underneath, just like a little bit of curve at the edge of the eye there, just to add a little bit of a effect to it. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to well, I'm gonna pull right here in the bottom of the mouth, okay? It's gonna pull back just a bit, so the upper lip's gonna stick out just a bit more. Curve underneath. Back underneath here. Curve underneath here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pull the line out a bit. And there's gonna be a little bit of point kind of in the back of his head. He, I don't know why he, in the movie he had this. Um, he had a little bit of a point up here, down. It's like a kind of a square edge almost. It's not, it's not totally square, but it's like square enough. Um, don't forget, by the way, if you love learning how to draw animated stuff, you love learning how to draw Godzilla, dinosaurs, um, Sonic, uh, Pokemon, anything like that in general, anything. Uh, I do lessons three times every single day guided toward aimed at beginners. So if you if that stuff sounds good to you, hit the subscribe and click the bell notification. It's totally worth your time. Um, and then just definitely hit that bell notification. Otherwise, it's never going to come in that notification. You're never going to see what I post. And I post more than uh, anybody in the drawing space. Gonna go over here. Curve back to the neck there. Just like the slight curve. And then another bump over here in the back, down. So this really is back. All right. Gonna go right here underneath and pull down in this uh, curved manner. Like so, like he's he's gonna be rising it from the sea. And so I feel like he's missing something, right? What is he missing? I know, it's gonna be the horn right here. So I'm gonna mark it out. It's gonna be kind of on the top of his head here. Mark, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit from the edge of his, top of his snout. And I, he's got this big rhino style horn. So it's gonna be at the front, curve, pretty large. You can exaggerate it if you want as well. Pull back down. And it's gonna come back a little bit. It's gonna get a little bit, you know, get thicker as it goes down. And it's gonna pull down right there, kind of behind his ear over there. And what you can do is draw another line over here, kind of for the back side of the head over there. All right. Go to his back really fast. And I'm gonna pull a curve right here because he has this kind of sail. Um, line, 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 line. For kind of the sail in his back. 
and we're gonna draw a line over here to show one of his uh, like uh, flippers or uh, coming out of the ground there. You can thicken the eye just a little bit, the line around the eye, just a bit. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the ocean down here, okay? So you can draw the ocean in a very easy way like that. Not too big because you want him to look big. And if you draw the waves too big, it's gonna make him look relatively, you know, comparatively small to the waves. <coughs> And then you're gonna have his arm over here, his other arm, his other flipper over here. Curve right there, down, over here, curve right there. And he has, spends a lot of time like that in the movie, like peeking out of the water there, you know? Um, so just kind of like, this is like, again, like a pose that we see him in all the time, that side view. If you want me to draw another one, like him roaring, you know, I will totally make that happen. You just gotta let me know in the comments right now and I will totally do it. Even if one person does it, my comments, I'll make, I'll make it that video. So there's one more thing I want to do with him. And um, even though he's entirely red, um, it's a little bit whiter on the bottom, right? That's I think that counter shading they call it right when they animals have that like sharks and stuff. So what you can do here is with a thin line, and it doesn't matter what you're using, but I would still do it thinner. Uh, a lot travel line back there. See how that's thinner than the other one. And I'm gonna just pull down here, almost a little bit like an S shape. It's a little bit harder to do that with a marker, to be honest, sometimes, because uh, it just kind of, you know, makes a weird shape. I'm sorry, sometimes it goes down too hard, I mean. <clears throat> and uh, that is it. That is it. That is red from The Sea Beast on Netflix. Uh, peeking up off the, over the water right there as he was kind of in doing that like most of the movie. If you want to add extra anything, I would go over here to the water. Maybe add thinner, just kind of wiggly lines over here to make it look like maybe it's possible he's over here in shallow water. Well, shallow for him. Uh, water, like, like in the movie. Just to kind of give it more texture because he's really, really smooth character, honestly. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys reaching out. If there's, if you want to help the channel out and keep it going, there's two things you can do. Number one, you can donate. There is a PayPal in the description. Or number two, the free thing is share the video with a friend or share it anywhere. On Twitter, there's a share button on the bottom right there, I think. Uh, you can share it on Twitter or Reddit or anything. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video later today. For skills, go right here to this video on here on this side. Um, that video I put because it's the exact same theme as the video you just saw and it kind of I like it as a bit of a pair So absolutely go check that out right now another short video